I'm Alice and you're watching Nelly vlog all about personal education and in this video we're gonna talk about two things first of all I'm doing product review so today I'll show you this really cool thing that I'm going to be using for dinner and also I'm gonna tell you how I made myself feel better because I felt like I was getting a flu and in the previous video I mentioned that I felt like I was getting sick and what I did really helped me so the next day I felt better just to review real quick um, I started getting sore throat so what I did I had some honey and I had a lot of tangerines because there's vitamin C in them and I ate really good I tried to eat as best as I could um, I will let you know what I have for breakfast um, it is just something that I started doing fairly recently I discovered this really cool video and um, it talks about unlimited capabilities of our brain and I decided to test it and so it challenges you to work the left and right side of your body equally so I would use my right hand normally uh, to brush my teeth well that video recommended that every morning from now on from that day on uh, I would do it with my left hand um, and so many other things that I try to implement and see how it works one of them was breakfast I was doing a banana almond milk coconut almond milk uh, with spinach and I decided to add some ingredients that were recommended in this video. The healthy breakfast, vitamin C, lots of warm water. Again, I, um, I'm a musician, so I sing and I don't drink cold water out of the fridge. Uh, I just have it room temperature. And I usually put um, a little bit of lemon, fresh, uh, fresh lemon squeeze juice into my water because I know that it cleanses our body in the morning. What I do for breakfast helps me to not only stay full but also stay full of energy till the next meal I have because I don't like to have not enough energy to do what I do especially when you are a musician you have to have enough energy because you got to give it away for people in the audience here's what I came up with to cleanse my body I would have room temperature water with lemon every single morning then I would have my smoothie and here are the ingredients I would have coconut almond milk that is unsweetened uh, I would put one banana a little bit of spinach a little bit of kale a little bit of that um, it'll come back to me I forgot what it's called ginger ginger root and I put um, these guys um, um, they look like brains and it was said in the video kind of funny that food that we need to consume for a certain parts of our body they kind of look like a certain part of our body so those look like our brain and they're good for our brain and then carrots if you cut them they kind of have an eye looking thing inside so they are really good for our eyes anyways I don't put carrots uh, I put blueberries as well and I tried putting dates because it was mentioned to me that they are a natural sweetener so I decided to try that so again to recap I'll definitely put it in the description of this video but almond milk which is with coconut flavor unsweetened banana spinach kale um, pecans ginger root and blueberries and I blend it all and that's my breakfast smoothie it actually is pretty good it depends on how much of what you put in it but I've figured out my own way how I like it and you can experiment with that if you want to if not I'm just sharing for tea I chose throat coat just because again I sing and that was recommended to me by a vocal coach um, that I highly respect and because I work for musicians uh, for professional musicians every time you go into the green room there is throat coat there so that being said a lot of professional musicians use it and so do I and I highly recommend it also what I did is I ate honey locally produced and I ate some of the pecans with honey I had chicken noodle soup that is made with a whole 
chicken. I didn't buy the very expensive organic version, but it still worked for me. I just bought like a very reasonable kind. But um, yeah, just boil chicken bouillon, read about it. Um, Russian and Ukrainian people especially are fond of it. Um, I also learned recently, again, from talking to my mom that you can substitute uh, with cauliflower and it is a healthy alternative. It's really, really, really good. And while I was in the store, um, again, about ginger root, I was reading online the other day uh, because a dear person didn't feel good and I wanted to do something instantly. Um, but anyways, um, I read about ginger. A friend of mine who is a musician told me about turmeric. So turmeric spice, I try to put it um, as a seasoning in my food just because it's really, really beneficial for health. She told me that it really helps with arthritis. Is that right? Um, yeah, so she mentioned that it's great, especially um, if you already have um, that condition. I did trust her, and so ever since, it's been a while, I have been a huge fan of turmeric. And then I read more about it. So anyways, then I saw tea that has turmeric and ginger in it, and... Um, I had to get it so I drank that tea and literally in one day I already felt better now I discovered one thing that was shocking to me that even though you eat healthy and you are staying away from um, you know you wash your hands and you try to maintain yourself as good as you possibly can still um, your condition can worsen because of stress this is um, really important element to consider. Again, I read about it in the book today, just doing my research. Two days after I made myself feel better, um, I had a really, really stressful morning. Um, it was all my fault, but um, I got home and I started getting um, sick again. I did not feel very, very, very sick or anything like that, but I just started feeling like maybe my temperature went up a little bit and I felt like my sore throat is coming back a little. And the crazy part is that I only had two days and then I had to perform. Uh, and that was a really important gig that I had to perform was a, for the first time at the fair. I got really worried because that morning I woke up and I was like, oh no, my throat. Um, it was not too bad. I could still sing. I uh, did the course Sing with Freedom, which I highly recommend if you're looking into voice lessons. And there was a lesson on how to heal your voice. So with exercises and something else, which is really good overall. I've heard about it, of course, from way back. Um, just because my whole family, my, my mom is huge on natural healing. And my grandmother, I knew about it as well, but my mom mainly, and so she told me about it. You boil water and then you inhale steam. You put a towel over your head and I have eucalyptus essential oil. I put two drops is a little bit too much. I try to put one, but accidentally put one and a half. But that, oh my goodness, that helped so much. And so I felt pretty good. I keep hydrating. I try to eat good. I try to keep my routine with having a breakfast and then lunch and then dinner. And today I might have an unhealthy dinner, but it's not too bad just because I kind of missed it and I wanted to show you my tool. Um, so again, this I would not buy on my own just because it's really expensive and I wasn't even looking for it. Uh, but fortunately somebody else discovered it and I, I got to use it and I had to get it because it's just amazing. It's again, Rossley expensive brand but also high quality uh, stainless steel and has rubber legs so you can rest it and it's not gonna go anywhere and then you can see that there is um, wheels that control how much um, the separation happens here to cut um, and before I show you how it works I have to peel my potato and these are very reasonable peelers, but so happens it works great. It's really sharp and I am in love with this little thing. I threw away the other one that I had and I only use this one. Um, this uh, is just super cool. You can slice, again, you can slice cheese with it. 
you can make thinner slices you can slice whatever you want you can really slice I mean kabasas Ukrainians uh, Russian people Ukrainian people are huge on that um, which is not healthy but they just taste so good horrible stuff but good tasting good bad food you know my, my American mama used to say that good bad food anyways um, you can slice all kinds of things with it I'm gonna show you how it looks when I cut it it helps me to work faster with my fried potatoes and that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make cutlets and I'm gonna make fried potatoes Oop, stick around I'll show you what it ends up being looking like I'm probably gonna make a mess but I'm just gonna show you how easy it is so you just go like this it's really really sharp and you can do it really fast and it has this little thing here as you can see the ring and it's also sharp and it's to get your let's see it's to get your eyes out not your eyes but you know what I mean your potato eyes or whatever they're called so it's really easy see and it stays in there mm. Alright, so I'll show you how I do it. I don't have a way to set up a camera at the moment the way I would normally do it. I lay it like this on my cutting board, just like that, and I would just go, whoop, let me see if I can hold it. Well, I lay it flat, and it has rubber feet, and then I just go like, whoop, 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 and it works great. It's really easy, even if you hold it up, um, normally, yeah, so you just do it like that. Um, normally, I would use, well, I don't have it. I need to purchase that little thing, but there's a grabber that you can literally grab your potato with, and then your hands will be safe. But, um, I don't have it right now. So, but I'll show you how nice these potatoes look. See, they're all evenly thin, and then they just cut it in slices more just with a knife and fry it here's how it looks it's still not ready it's gonna be more golden brownish later on but it is already delicious and I ran out of bacon actually so all I did is I put some butter and spiced it with just salt and pepper just these two guys pink Himalayan salt and some pepper I am also going to add some garlic to it just to give it a little kick and then potatoes and Kiza wants to cook too. <laughs> Alright, so I'm working on some cutlets here. So far the ingredients are, they're chicken cutlets, so it's ground chicken, there's onions, carrots, shredded, and also one egg. When I put Himalayan rolls because I just like them and then um, I was looking for um, sukhariki which is I'm trying to think how you would call it in English well I was trying to look for another ingredient but I couldn't find it so I bought salsa chips sun chips so those are gonna be crushed into it along with some garlic salt and pepper and I think I'm gonna add turmeric this time so yep those are gonna be all mixed and made into balls and you i'll show you how they're gonna look when they're gonna be done super easy and it's actually good it's it's protein you know with vegetables so and egg again protein so good stuff not too bad but yeah i fry them i fry them in olive oil now i'm gonna crush garlic and this, by the way, is another great kitchen gadget that I absolutely love for crushing garlic. It makes it super easy and I love it more than any other tools I've ever used before. The pile on the right is going to go into the cutlets and the pile on the left is going to go into my fried potatoes. And here, as you can see, I added more ingredients into cutlets. I'm just going to add the garlic. And here's you some entertainment. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Mommy gave us a little gift here for you. And you love it. Alright, so it's getting more and more exciting. This is farsh, which is, um, I don't know what to call it. It's just ready mix for cutlets. 
And then I got some flour here, so I'm gonna make some round balls and dip them in here and fry them on this frying pan. And I wish I would have two copper chefs, so at some point I will definitely get two because I love it absolutely so much more than the other one. Well, I love the other one because it's memories and it was a gift, but I love copper chef. Okay, so here are the cutlets. And they just need a few minutes on each side. And I would probably also cover them with the lid because I just like them to be steamed as well as fried. Oh, you're so funny. This is just so you see how they look when they're done on one side and I'm done on the other side. I'm going to go ahead and flip these last two. And here's what I mean by golden crispy. I don't know if you can tell, but they are crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. Ta-da! Excited! It's gonna be so good! Well, and then you have it. Dinner is served. <laughs> Yum. Hope you enjoyed this video. This is a really cool tool. I would give it 10 stars if I could. It is really high quality. I will put the description in the description. That didn't sound right. But anyways, um, I really enjoy this product. And um, yeah, and I'm doing pretty good. I could have got gotten really really sick but I didn't um, I was real scared that I would but nothing happened I was just mildly sick a little bit but I took care of myself and I can't afford I, I can't afford getting sick and I the, the word you know not just that I can't afford it but I um, I got nobody to take care of me so I have to take care of myself <laughs> and um, so that's why I had to go full on full force to make myself feel better and it worked. So hopefully it will work for you as well. If it does, let me know in the comments below. If you have any other ways that you can battle the flu. I didn't take, by the way, I didn't take any pills. I didn't go to the doctor. Um, all of that was avoided. The doctor did text me because, um, you know, uh, it's just a friend doctor. He texted me and asked how my friend was doing and how I was doing. And I just said, you know, don't worry about it. Um, everything everything's good everybody's taken care of and yeah so it was just nice of him to check on on the status of our health uh, I do appreciate people that are caring I do also post you'll probably see in Nelly that um, you know our health care is more of a sick care now I prefer to stay healthy and I prefer to prevent uh, getting sick be mindful take care of yourself Eat healthy, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.